I'm reading emails. Yeah, this lady emailed me. <laughs> so we've been emailing back and forth for a while um, because I had been sending her information about what to get for her pregnancy. Just so she's a first time mom. And I had sent her like her pregnancy journal, uh, the link for her birth plan. I sent her the labor and delivery playlist, like, you know, just the basic list stuff that I send anybody who asks me about stuff for pregnancy. I send them all of that stuff. The only thing I don't do is, you know, be there the whole step, but I'll send you all the information. It might take me a minute to get back to you off of emails and stuff, but I try to answer it because I know not everybody can afford my services, so I still try to help people. Y'all tell me why this lady said Nanny Q. I remember me and you talk. And you told me when I get towards the end of my pregnancy that I start having bad dreams. The dreams were getting so graphic and so bad that I stopped sleeping at night. One night I told myself, you know what, just to put my mind to ease, I'm just going to check his phone to see if the dreams are adding up to what's going on. Nanny Q, never in a million years would I think the same man who proposed to me at my baby shower, the same man who stood in front of my daddy and said that he loves me and he's going to take care of me for the rest of my life. The same man who just brought me a new car as a push gift was not only sleeping with one girl, he was sleeping with six of them. He also was in a Facebook group for gay men looking for people to hook up with. When we got into our relationship, I knew he was bisexual and I didn't have a problem with that. I like girls, he liked guys, so we've always had fun in that area. But when I asked him if he was still sleeping with other guys, he told me no. The cherry on top nanny kills the fact that he has herpes. No. He tested positive for herpes and gonorrhea. He doesn't know that I know any of this yet, but from what I see, the herpes is on his lips. It's not herpes on his genitals. I looked at all of the information from the doctor stuff that he that the doctor sent over, the screenshots that he sent to the guy that he's actually in a private relationship with. They say, I love you in the morning and I love you every night. They be on the phone on FaceTime and I never think anything of it because he said it's just one of his homeboys. This man has put me and my baby in jeopardy and I don't know what to do. Am I leaving? Yes. I told my dad what was going on. And my dad told me as soon as I have the baby that it's time for me to pack up and move out. We've been moving my stuff little by little so he doesn't know anything. But I'm at the point now where I just want to sit down and tell him that I know everything that's going on. Below, I attach the video of the proposal, Nanny Q, so you can see how beautiful it was. The fact that I give birth August the 15th and this man has been cheating the last six months of my pregnancy is disgusting to me. He moved in with me because he lost everything in a house fire and I felt bad for him. I told him we couldn't live together long because that's not how I was raised. And the fact that my parents still pay half of my rent. That's something that my parents have done for all of us. They pay half of our rent for the first five years. I think that's why me and all my siblings have been so successful because we know that our parents have our back. When I told my dad everything that was going on, he threatened to come and get me that night, but it's an eight hour drive. I told my dad, let's just wait it all out. I haven't said anything to him. He's been coming and going like everything is Gucci and it's not. He doesn't even notice, he hasn't even noticed that I've been taking things out of the house little by little. Every night I wait for him to fall fast asleep and I wake up and go to the bathroom to go pee. And I look through his phone to see the conversations that he's having. He doesn't even know that I see all of this. I screenshot some of the conversations just so I can have his proof before he tries to delete everything. I screenshot the apps that he has. I screenshot the messages that he's been sending on Facebook to different men. When all of this is said and done and over with, I'm going to print everything out and send it to his mom and dad to let them know that they raised a dummy. Thank you for everything you've done to help me throughout my pregnancy. After I have my baby, I'll make sure to update you with pictures, Nanny Q.
I, that's all I got, y'all. Because I've been talking to this baby like her whole pregnancy. Like she emailed me. I was like, oh my God, Nanny Q, I'm pregnant. Um, Can you give me some advice? What I need to get? Blah, blah, blah. We've been going back and forth on stuff. Like I said, I've been sending her her pregnancy journal. When she told me she was pregnant, I sent her the pregnancy journal. Her labor and delivery, delivery playlist. Like I've been talking to her her whole pregnancy. I'm late on the email because it's September, but y'all know it takes me a minute to get through all the emails. But, uh, thank you for emailing X Nanny Kid.